Uh, the Ghost of Christmas Eve, uh, you know, was something we filmed um, very quickly in 1999. I think we got the call about an opening um, where they needed to fill a one hour time slot. And I think they just wanted to film the band live in concert. But I'm like, you give me an hour, I'll give you a movie. And um, we had to make it simple. Um, which it's basically about a little 15 year old girl who runs away um, from her home in the Midwest in June. And now it's, you know, Christmas Eve, it's snowing out. She's forgotten what they fought about and she's too embarrassed to call her parents. So she ends up breaking into an old abandoned vaudeville theater, you know, to seek, you know, shelter from the storm. And there she's discovered by the caretaker who's played by Ozzie Davis, who uh, uses, you know, the ghost and the uh, spirits of this old abandoned vaudeville theater to turn her life around. And we were very fortunate to, um, you know, get people, legends actually, like, you know, uh, Michael Crawford and, and uh, uh, Jewel um, to play some of the ghosts, and it actually uh, turned out you know way way better than I ever could have imagined. Uh, basically, it's a brand new show because it's a brand new story. Um, so there's all new characters, all new songs, and of course every year we reinvent the production to uh, keep it interesting. And this way, the fans um, you know have the uh, the comfort of what they're familiar with, what they you know have come to expect, but the excitement of something you know new and surprising. And, you know, every year we keep trying to up the bar and our biggest fear is that uh, we just never want to let the fans down. The Lost Christmas Eve was um, recorded in 2004 and released. Um, it was the end of the trilogy. It's uh, one of my favorite stories. And it's basically about a man who makes a humongous mistake in his life and then uh, four decades later is um, trying to undo that mistake and as he goes to an adventure in uh, you know, New York City with all kinds of characters that wander in and out of his life on uh, Christmas Eve.